Too soon. We already have a teaser of Zayn Malik's new music. Justin Bieber confirms that he's working on music with who? And all of your favorite artists in Hollywood are working on a massive musical collaboration. You do not want to miss this and a whole lot more on today's Hollywood Rundown. Hi friends, welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. You know me, Erin Robinson. In studio with me today is Miss Danielle Rope. Hey guys. Holding it down. We have a big show, a lot of things to talk about. Justin Bieber, Zayn Malik, all kinds of stuff. So much going on, so let's start with the Biebs. What's going on? So Justin Bieber's Comedy Central Roast aired last night. I watched it, I'm sure a lot of you watched it. Um, I actually thought it was interesting that not a lot of the jokes that we had heard ahead of time were included in the, sh in the special. I guess yeah. they were just too hot, too raunchy for TV. Um, but I want to hear what you guys thought about the roast in the comments below. But in other Justin Bieber news, USA Today uh, did an interview with him and they're reporting that Great Justin article. Bieber is currently working on new music and He's going to be collaborating with Kanye West. Yeezy, I really love this combo, but here's what we know so far. As far as the album goes, Justin said that he was finishing up the album right now, and he said it was kind of a different sound, a more grown-up version of Justin than we're used to hearing. He said he had to completely redo the album because the first album just wasn't a reflection of who he is, and after really wow. digging into his faith and growing up more, he said he wants to have music that is true to himself and that gives people hope. He also said that he got rid of a bunch of people in his entourage of a lot of toxic bye bye. people who were kind of bringing him down. Um, but he also said about girlfriends that he is currently single and that quote, I'm just trying to make sure I'm 100% so I can add to the person I want to be with. I want a girl I can trust who I can lean on. This business is hard and I want someone I can confide in. So I think Justin is growing up. Maybe this is this whole PR stunt. A lot of people are skeptical that this isn't really, he's gonna turn back to his bad boy ways. But he actually says that he has a lot of people in his life now who are pouring into him. And when you have people like that surrounding you, that can really change you from the inside out. I agree. You can't be a nickel out there looking for a dime. You gotta be. Hey, girl. You gotta be right before you can be with someone else. Girl, I don't even know what that means, but I like the way it sounds. <laughs> Yo, this next story is cray cray. Very interesting. Zayn Malik is already collaborating on a new song with Naughty Boy, and we have a sneak peek. What? Okay, slow your roll. Oh my gosh! Slow your roll. So, as many of you know, Zayn left One Direction. We're thinking he might be going in a new direction. Yeah. So, Naughty Boy tweeted out a song of Zayn going solo. Cause we are who we are. Right from the start, you know I got you. Naughty Boy really surprised the world by doing this. Um, the, like the Twitterverse was on fire afterwards. Oh yeah, people were P.O.'d. They were. Zayn lost over 50,000 followers on Twitter after this. And Louie from One Direction got in a fight with Naughty Boy via Twitter because of this. And they went back and forth too soon. Yeah, Louie was saying that he's basically just riling up the fan base and that this is kind of like a... It's just like a bad PR move. If I'm being honest with you right now, not a lot of people who leave boy bands have successful solo careers. That's just not the track record. Even Nick Jonas has had a hard time breaking away from the Jonas Brothers yeah. and having his own solo thing. So Zayn Malik, I don't know if I feel 100% confident that he can actually go on and have a music career. So for me, I think that if he's gonna do it, he might as well do it now while people still care and are talking about him versus wait, you know? I mean, I know the One Direction, like, I know the Direction fans are upset about this, but I don't know, if I was Zayn Malik, I don't know what I would do. Well, I'm wondering if this was all calculated because reportedly Naughty Boy and Zayn have been working together since September. Yeah, I think he did have it planned. It's, that's, that's the way it seems. Yikes. Well, let's talk about some good news. A duo that we love and a lady you love. Yeah. We're hanging out. So Taylor Swift and Camila Cabello are kind of new besties. We know that Taylor threw Camila like a surprise birthday party. But now these two had a girls' night out in Hollywood at a restaurant called Katsuya. Later, Taylor posted this video on her Instagram page showing the two of them losing their chill over <laughs> Fifth Harmony song, Worth It, on the radio. Take a look. Whose song is this? Some weird girl group Fifth Harmony. Is it your song? It's our song. Our station. Kiss FM. Yes. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. 
You would think that by now that Camila would be used to hearing her song on her songs on the radio, but I love that she is still just as excited as she's always been about it. It's so exciting. So exciting. Speaking of exciting and Taylor Swift, Taylor is going to be a part of one of the biggest music endeavors that's happening in the music business right now. It's called Title. Jay Z's involved. Give me the details. So, like you said, rap mogul Jay Z opened up Title, which is a music streaming service. And he has major star power behind him. Kanye West, Madonna, Daft Punk. We were talking about, I don't know if you want someone masked like Daft Punk. I mean, I don't know if I trust someone as my business partner who can't take his mask off. I don't know. <laughs> but he has a lot of share owners too. So Beyonce, rocker Jack White, Drake, Coldplay's Chris Martin, Nicki Minaj, uh, Rihanna, a lot of people. And it's, it's aimed to give the artists more control. So Taylor Swift was upset with Spotify earlier this year because she said that it didn't pay artists properly. And this is supposed to be different, and she has given her entire back catalog to Tidal. And you, we were talking about this earlier. We could have sort of seen this coming because Jay-Z and Beyonce were at Taylor Swift's birthday party. They've been buddy-buddying up. Even Taylor and Kanye. Timing. Taylor and Kanye kind of made up, kissed and made up. Yep. Um, Calvin Harris is involved with this. Like there, there definitely is, this has been in the works for a long time. And Jay-Z. Talk about it, don't mess with my click. I know. And, and Jay-Z is one of the best business minds in the music business. I trust him to run this. But artists are not always known as being good business people because they're creative minds. And so to me, I'm a little worried about this working it could work it could not work I don't know but the promo video for this made me totally think that this is an Illuminati business <laughs> this is an Illuminati thing I wonder if Jay-Z is getting in over his head with this he is a phenomenal entrepreneur business mind but I wonder if he's trying to compete or trying to compete with Dre Beats by Dre mm. who became a billionaire recently and I, he has an ego. I'm wondering if he's trying to get there and maybe this isn't the right project. Maybe it is. Okay, in movie news, let's talk about one of my all-time favorite films. Oh, Mulan, you guys, is going to be a live action movie. So yeah. I'm really excited about this one too. Because I think it's one of Disney's properties that really would translate well into a live action film. So Mulan's going to tur be turned into a movie like Cinderella was. Cinderella was a huge box office hit, made a ton of money and was really good. Mm -hmm. And also Beauty and the Beast, Dumbo, Alice in Wonderland 2. We're going to have a whole slew of Disney live action films and I ain't mad about it. According to THR, Disney has bought a script from two new screenwriters. So it'll be probably like a fresh take on the movie. I, who do you want to play Mulan? Oh, me? No. <laughs> <laughs> you would look, you'd be a great Mulan. I wish. Okay, so it's outfit of the daytime, OOTD, because it's Tuesday. Uh, we have a couple of picks. Mine is from the iHeartRadio Music Awards this weekend. Zendaya, our girl, killing it on the red so carpet. Gorgeous. In this outfit, I don't even have words for how much I love this. It's multicolored with the teal high, high neckline and the pink bandeau, and this skirt is bedazzled like zebra print. I just, I am so feeling this look. I want it. My OOTD is from the same award show, okay. and it's from your favorite girl, Miss Taylor Swift. Oh. She's wearing a black Kaufman Franco dress, a little LBD, and Tamara Mellon shoes. And I don't usually love cutouts. I think they can look a little bit sleazy. Uh -huh. These are done so right. Classy. Looks, yeah, and I like when women show off some of their best assets. She, she has beautiful arms, so she's showing that off. I love yeah, it. and I, they both have the bandeau, both girls yes. in their red carpet outfits. The bandeau must be a hot trend this season. All right, we're going to wrap this show up. But now before we ask you some questions, you guys, first of all, Zayn Malik, is it too soon to get new music from Zayn? Do you think that this was premeditated? Are you mad about it? Don't be mad. Um, <laughs> I want to know, first of all, because I couldn't figure it out, who do you want cast as Mulan? And second of all, um, what do you guys think about the Comedy Central roast? Do you like that they took the jokes out? Was it appropriate or should they have just left everything out? Oh, so many good questions, you guys. We love you so much. It's not even funny how much sure. we love you. We appreciate you. Thanks for watching us every day on the Dur, as we like to call it. Aaron Robinson with Danielle Robay, and we'll be back here tomorrow on Hunt Day. And for a rundown of 
everything from the iHeartRadio Music Awards and the Kids' Choice Awards. Click in the video box on the left. And speaking of Zayn, we have his official statement after leaving One Direction. It's real deep and you can catch it on the box on the right.